King Vaughn was one of the most valuable assassins in Parkway Gardens, but he also had valuable assassins around him too that put in so much work throughout 2011 to 2014 that they had O Block labeled as one of the most dangerous blocks in America. This list is of gang members that was the closest to King Vaughn around the time he was coming up, and these guys put in the most work. We be shooting at all the killers. This is Top Trend TV, and this is King Vaughn's most valuable assassin. King Vaughn had many people around him that put in work. Some did, some still alive. But throughout 2011 to 2012 was probably one of the most deadliest years in Englewood, Chicago. And that year, King Vaughn lost three homies in a six month span, beefing with cliques like STL, EBT, and Gyro City, and all of these gangs was located around O Block within less than a mile radius. August 11th, 2011, a guy by the name of Odie Perry was killed on the south side Englewood area of Chicago. This guy was one of the first BDs to lose their life that was close to King Vaughn in O Block. He was also known to have killed one person, and this was a guy by the name of Lil Four from Gyro City. After OD died, tensions was very high, and King Vaughn's ops was just waiting for their next victim. And plus, around this time, King Vaughn would have no other choice but fall into the streets. His heart was cold from losing a close homie, and get back is what he wanted. But only two months later, a guy by the name of Edward Riley, another close friend of King Vaughn, would be shot and killed right outside of Old Block, only at the age of 20 years old. On October 19th, 2011, police say two men opened fire on two victims. One victim was Edward Riley, aka Platoon, and another was a 15 year old boy. The 15 year old had non life threatening injuries, and Platoon died. He wasn't known to have any bodies, but he was close friends to OD and King Vaughn, and that's why he was a big target on the ops list. Another one of King Vaughn's most valuable assassins was a guy by the name of Sherrod Liggins, and apparently, STL Bostro shot this guy from across the street with a laser beam. And this was only four months after Platoon died. On February 16th, 2012, a 19-year-old man died days after Chicago police found him shot in the head on the south side street. He was shot in the head after walking out of a store on Old Block. He was then taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition, then dying days after doctors couldn't save his life. And around this time, Old Block was a dangerous place to be. And even though King Vaughn was toting guns since he was 13, he wasn't known to have killed anybody at this time. All up until a guy by the name of White White, which was King Vaughn's best friend at the time. White White was killed on August 8th, 2012, and he was killed right in front of King Vaughn. Plus, the police even witnessed everything happen. Tony Dunn, aka White White, was only 19 at the age of his death when a guy by the name of 50 Shots walked up on White White and shot him in the back. Police then went to apprehend Darron Williams, aka 50 Shots. Williams then fired at police and they returned fire, hitting him in the leg, and he begged them not to kill him. He was then charged with one count of murder and two counts of attempted murder. And after King Vaughn lost White White, he went crazy and went on a drilling spree, which we have a story about his hit list on our page, so make sure you go check that out. Another one of King Vaughn's valuable assassins was a guy by the name of Jay Money. Jay Money was also allegedly responsible for the murder of two people, which was Reggie from the SKD set. Plus, he was also allegedly responsible for assisting King King Vaughn on a hit of P5 from Gyro City. Plus, he also allegedly assisted on four different murders, which was Lil 4 and Bankhead from Gyro City, Lil Jojo from Brick Squad, and Modell from STL. So, Jerome Wood, aka J Money, was a big target on the ops list. So, on September 3rd, 2013, around 2 p.m., Jerome Wood, aka J Money, was shot in the head in the 6600 block of South Rose Avenue in the West Woodlawn neighborhood. J Money was also close to King Vaughn and made King Vaughn turn up even more. But on July 16th, 2016, O Block would lose a member that would impact everybody in the neighborhood. And this was O Block Chino, and he was a well-loved O Block member. And allegedly, a guy doing a 57-year bid killed Chino. He was shot and killed around 11.25 a.m. 
only three blocks away from Old Block. An 18 year old man was killed in an Englewood neighborhood shooting on a Sunday morning on the south side. The shooting happened in the 5700 block of South Union. And when officers responded, they found Torino Gatewood had been shot in the upper chest. He was then taken to St. Bernard Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 11.45 a.m. Authority said this guy wasn't known to have any bodies, but he was the younger brother of Old Block BJ. This next assassin though was probably one of the most valuable assassins from Old Block. He was allegedly responsible for killing three people. Plus, he was responsible for shooting at slash hitting 15 different people. So the ops knew that they had to take this guy out to lower the risk of any of their guys getting killed. So on December 8th, 2016, at around 3.07 a.m., a man was killed and two others were wounded in a shooting inside a restaurant early Sunday in Parkway Gardens. They were in a fast food restaurant in the 6300 block of South King Drive at 3.07 a.m. when two suspects entered and opened fire according to Chicago police, then ran out after the shooting. Antron T. Young, aka Big A, 23 years of age, was shot in the face and pronounced dead on the scene and allegedly he was on the hip with King Vaughn when King Vaughn killed P5 from Ja Rule City. He also was allegedly there on the hit of KI, who is a girl from STL who put in a lot of work. And King Vaughn was the alleged killer of her. Chicago police even named King Vaughn as the prime suspect in KI's case. Another valuable assassin that's still alive is Trey Five, Daquan Bennett. This guy has the same name as King Vaughn but it's just spelled different. He's been known to be involved in multiple hits, but we won't be going over these people because this guy's still alive. He is alleged to have killed six people though, and is really one of Old Block's top generals that is slept on, but he even has a lengthy criminal history too. He was arrested for possessing over 15 grams of heroin, plus aggravated battery slash discharge of a firearm. He was sentenced to six years in 2011, for the aggravated battery and in 2017 he was sentenced to 10 years in jail but he has been released recently another valuable assassin that was cool with a lot of different gang members was a guy of the name of d rose but in 2017 the alleged gang member was sentenced to 40 years in prison for the shooting death of Vinzel richardson that happened on september 15th 2017. Richardson was a GD and affiliated with the Taekwondo world set. He was also only 14 years of age of his death. Richardson and his friends had just left the convenience store on 61st and King Drive on February 12, 2014, and were walking south on the 61st hundred block of South Vernon when a white minivan pulled up beside them and shot at them multiple times. Richardson suffered from four gunshot wounds, including one to the back and one to the head. And currently at the moment, Abbas Aden, aka D. Rose, is still currently incarcerated, serving his 40 years. Another valuable assassin was a guy by the name of T. Roy, and that was King Vaughn's best friend. And we have a whole story about his criminal history and his hit list on our page so make sure you go check that out remember king vaughn has many more assassins and this is just a select few and let me know down in the comments if y'all want to see a part two with even more old block assassins but that'll be about it for king vaughn's most valuable assassins make sure you like or dislike comment and subscribe and let me know down in the comments who y'all want to see next and as always stay blessed and stay well yeah yeah i'm out